as we show instruments, control and shutdown loops on the PNID, we should also show the details of the final element, which is implementing the action, whether it's a control or a shutdown. The final element can be valves, which is mostly the case in control and shutdown actions, or these can be motors. So we can control the speed of the machine. For example, if we are talking about a pump, we can control the speed of a motor through variable frequency drive, or in other words, VFD, so that we can control the pump capacity. We can also connect the motor to the shutdown system to shut it down. For example, we have seen in a previous video that we can trip the pump in case of low liquid level. We can use other equipment parts such as inlet vanes for compressors to control the capacity of a compressor. Or we can use automatic louvers or variable pitch angles for air-cooled exchangers to control the quantity of the air used and hence the degree of cooling. Also, if we don't need a precise control for the flow, we can just install a flow restriction orifice. The orifice opening shall provide a resistance against the flow, but at the same time, some flow passes through it based on the designed opening. Here, there is no adjustment of the opening as in the case of the control valve, but it may work in simple systems. It can achieve the function we need in these systems. It is mostly used in plant depressurization and minimum flow control of small pumps. These are the most common examples for a restriction orifice. Now let's start talking about valves. Valves can be used as a final element to control a parameter. This can be in different ways. For example, in case of control, we are talking about the traditional control valves where the opening can be changed based on the output signal from the controller, which is given based on the reading we receive from the instrument and the output signal from the control system. So now we can adjust the parameter we want to control by changing the valve opening. We can also use self-regulating valves, which are called PCV. Here we can control the parameter locally from the valve itself. The valve shall sense the pressure and adjust its opening. These can be either pressure reducing regulators which control the downstream pressure or back pressure regulators which control the upstream pressure. These can only be used in clean fluids and only in applications that need no operator intervention such as reducing the instrument supply pressure or in case of gas blanketing in vessels or storage tanks. As we have talked about valves being used as a control element that can adjust the process parameters by changing their opening, let's talk about on-off valves or shutdown valves. Here we are not talking about a valve with a specific opening, but rather it's a valve that is either fully open or fully closed. So once the parameter reaches a certain value, the shutdown system sends a signal to the valve actuator which shall either open or close this valve. These are either used to protect the process equipment or personnel against a certain issue that can cause some damage. These valves may be used to stop the flow to protect the downstream equipment. We have seen in a previous video that the example of the shutdown valve of protecting the 150 pound rating system from overpressure, in this case, the valve closed. Sometimes, valve may need to be open in order to protect the equipment. For example, if we are having a reactor and it's getting to a runaway reaction, maybe we shall need to increase the cooling water capacity to stop the reaction. So, the on-off valve here shall receive a signal to open, and hence, the cooling water can protect the system. This can also be seen with blowdown valves. Blowdown valves are used for plant depressurization to flare in case of emergency shutdown. So, depending on the depressurization requirement, we can add a blowdown valve that opens once it receives emergency shutdown signal and sends the whole inventory to flare. 